and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the market. Obviously, as you guys know, every Saturday, I do this video. And depending on how the week goes, I could do it more or less. But it's Saturday. Legends go down. And not to mention, it's been an interesting week because of these series redux player packs that everyone has been acquiring from their house rules. So every single day, I've seen a different dynamic in the redux market. And it's been quite interesting. And it's funny because when these cards were really expensive, I was like, oh, if they go down like 50k or 100k, I'll buy them in an instant. And now they're down like 300k. And I'm like, wait, they need to go down more. Like until I see it's come to a standstill is when I'll actually start buying. I just want to show you guys where we're standing at because after this house rules is over, they might start to come up a bit. I have seen a few of them start to come up a bit once the bulk of them have been sold. So obviously, like whatever the lows you're gonna see them for in these next few days might not be the lows you see them for next week. It might go back up. So it all depends on what you think is the selling point. I'm gonna go over a few of them. Obviously, the Redux market's interesting. I obviously want guys like Randy Moss, Aaron Donald. So to get them, gonna cost quite a bit of amount of coins, like quite a lot. So I was gonna wait until I can get a good deal for them. I'm gonna wait to see if maybe I can get them out of my pack, which I should be opening my pack sometime tonight and probably have it for a video for you guys sometime tomorrow morning for Sunday morning. Obviously, that is the goal at least because. It has taken a while, but again, I don't, I just can't, I can't sit here and grind those games straight out, especially with my schedule with school and everything. I don't know how you guys did, you guys are crazy, but let's get into this video, guys. But be actually, before we do, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell, boys, come join the family. Comment down below, say what's up, let me know what you, what you guys plan to pick up any of these Redux cards, you think they'll get cheaper, and don't forget, smash the like button, you guys have been killing it, the sport's crazy, I did the giveaway in the last video, so make sure you guys go check that out, so you guys know if you were one of the winners. It was Mark Hawkins, just to repeat it for you guys, and now... Real quick, don't forget guys, smash that button. You guys have been killing it. Three, four, five hundred likes per video. You guys gotta start now though. If you don't start right now, you're not gonna hit that goal. And if we ever hit like a thousand or something, that'd be crazy. I'll have to do another giveaway for you guys. But for now, just smash it guys, show some support. Now let's get into the video. So heading over to the auction block. I'm not again, I'm not starting off low. <coughs> Excuse me, there's no point. When starting off low, yeah, I, I can't even imagine you guys find it interesting. You probably skip past that. So let's start up here again and then work our way to the Redux market. The 86 and 87 are very, very cheap. I only see them they keep going down again a lot of budget beasts are within this range and a lot of base elites that you might want to pick up like guys that could be getting upgrades soon now one of the base elites specifically is patrick mahomes although he has taken a little bit lift a little bit of a lift in the market because people do anticipate he'll be getting a card i don't know if he'll get a thanksgiving card or a limited time thanksgiving card it all really depends right because what i've the the pattern i picked up from ea this year so far has been that they like to give the high named brand name guys LTD cards. So if that is the case, Patrick Mahomes prices won't change because LTD cards are a lot more rare. When he gets a series redux, it might change. But for the time being, I don't know. I I, I feel like they're gonna give him a limited time and I'm I'm scared for that. Anyways, getting to the 88s, 89s. These cards are kind of similar too, guys. If you want to pick up Aaron Donald, I recommend you pick him up soon. He obviously won't be getting an upgrade anytime soon, most likely. But he's Aaron Donald. He plays phenomenal for me. Power him up to 90. You don't have to get his full cards, rock with him for now. Great basically, as well as is Khalil Mack. The only issue with Khalil Mack that bothers me is that he's going to be stand still. He's going to be stood still at his kickoff card because his kickoff card is going to be expensive for quite a while, which really limits his potential as a guy that I'd want to power up because I can't get past that card, which really does suck. Kind of limits his potential. I wonder how if this is Cooper Cup. Yeah, this Cooper Cup is probably similar to his LTD card. I mean, I just can't. I can't get past that Khalil Mack thing, which kind of sucks. Which is why I still have Von Miller. Preferably, I want like a Leighton Van Der Esch. I want a guy who's going to be like a zone linebacker for me because I typically don't rush both of them. I typically just rush one of them and the other guy's out in the zone. So I kind of need a zone linebacker. If you guys have any uh, recommendations for left outside linebacker in zone, let me know down below. I've heard put Shazier there, but then my middle linebacker's going to be a little bit weaker. And then at the 90s, we got the Eckler already coming in that low. Let's see what he's looking like. Let's go to, should I do flashbacks? 102 okay yeah, so 102 90s are about to break under 100k so you know things are cheap these used to be like 245 of like a month and a half ago remember they were rocking like always and then we're rocking at 245 mud heroes and everything just brought everything down yeah flashback football side is always going to dominate the low the low 90s for quite a while at least and as far as legends go guys if you want to pick a base legends like lawrence taylor end game card right i can recommend him Munoz is the guy that I recommend, but not at this price. They're a little bit more expensive. Give it like another hour when the Legend Fantasy Packs drop and then come back and check. But actually, at this point, when you're watching this, you've probably seen it when it's ready out. So, in that case, you really gotta wait. I have to wait. We're almost to the Redux, guys. I'm gonna check out these Redux first, though, because I'm kind of interested to see these. 
specifically to see what the lower one's looking like. So they're about to break into the 90K range. They're definitely probably a week or so away from doing so. Unless they come back up, but I doubt there's an influx. I'm kind of nervous for my pack because I can get, that's how many bad pulls there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I'd say there's like 22 bad pulls. You can potentially pull 22 things. I mean, if it's, if it's Patrick Willis, I won't call it bad. Still decent coins. Like I want one of the, I want one of like the 92 overalls. Although, I mean, if you get Matt, if you get Matt Ryan, it's really not much better. I'll take Evan Ingram. I honestly might keep Evan Ingram if I pulled him. I don't really know where I'd go with that one, but not entirely horrible. I mean, the market is definitely down, as you guys can see. Like a few weeks ago, I got patch. I got Deshaun Watson for my pack of the uh, the level 70 max bot level pack, and I've sold him for 540k. So obviously, things are like cut in half right now, as you can see. A lot of these guys were never this cheap. Some were, but a lot of them weren't. I know for a fact McCaffrey was a little over 200k. Patrick Willis was still like 500k. Bo Jackson was still like 600k. But things have obviously taken a turn for the worst. Although I should, I'll call them better as a guy that plays the game because I need these cards. Now, if you guys want to check out the 92s, that's kind of where I feel like our interest really lies at this moment in time. This is where things are getting kind of interesting, right? So, Matt Ryan is close to being within the 100k range, 190, 180-ish at some point. So, is he worth it? I mean, I personally don't think he's a great card, which is probably why his price is that. For the, the stats that he has, I'd much rather have Steve Young. Steve Young has similar throwing stats, and he's going to give you the escape artist with the speed. Alvin Kamara is a guy that when he hits in 200k, I kind of want Alvin Kamara as my catching back. But then again, I kind of want to wait for CMC, Christian McCaffrey, because I know he has, to have a, he has to get a card soon. He's having an historic season, and he'll probably be a better version of that Alvin Kamara, especially with the way he's been breaking big runs this year. Calvin's obviously in the 440 range. I've been telling you guys he's not worth it. I'd sell him. That's probably why he's down there. I mean, people are probably realizing that already. Rob Gronkowski, 500 range. Michael Vick's cheap enough. But again, I don't want any of these cards right here. I really don't see any of these cards as beneficial to me at this moment. The cards that I care about here, right? Okay, Jadavion Clown is a beast. That's pretty cheap for him. But the issue is that I'd much rather have Lawrence Taylor long term, which is the only reason I haven't really dabbled with Clowney this year. But he's definitely one of the top options. Kittle, if Kittle can get to that 500 range. Whew, excuse me. If Kittle can get to that 500 range, yes. That's a snag. Um, that's a snag for me. Although his power is pretty close to him, which is the only reason I haven't really pushed for him. Randy Moss is getting dangerously low now. My concern here is right. I've seen him around 820 in the back of 880. My concern is that once these sell and people stop getting their packs, he might just stay in the. He might not go back down to so 820. Might be in the 900 range. But again, guys, any Redux about 800k, 600k. I think it's just you wait, right? That's been my personal opinion on it because. You guys know as a Madden player, you buy Randy Moss for 820, and then in a month he goes for 350, 400k, and you're like, wow, I lost so many coins on him. So I feel like this is like this screams of the player that I buy for over overpriced is pretty good, and then I never get my return on investment on that one. I feel like this screams of that player, so which is why I like my power pass for them, but I don't think I touch him right now. I want to see if they keep going down, but I think that most people at this point have gotten the majority of their packs. So what was going to happen to the market already would have happened, in my personal opinion, if you guys understand what I'm saying. Like the hit that the market would take from those packs probably already happened, as you guys can see. The lower ones keep going down more because I feel like obviously the people with the stragglers who are still finishing like me probably getting some bad pulls more than likely, putting them up for cheap. I'd wait. I don't know what else could affect the market though, because with the Thanksgiving promo, I don't see that bringing down the obviously no new cards will bring down the Redux cards, but. For the Redux cards to really be impacted, it takes more Redux cards into the market, you know, supply and demand. So I feel like what could potentially affect it would be something like another Redux pack. We already got our maxima level. Maybe Series 4. Series 4 will be the next big drop, obviously. But we kind of just got Series 3, so don't expect Series 4 until at least the second week of December. I think at minimum, maybe first week of December, but you guys get the point. Until then, I mean, again, like I said, that's still two or three weeks away. So at that point, it might have been even worth it to just wait. Because at that point, Randy Moss will definitely go for like 400 or 500k. He'll definitely not long, no longer be near that 1 million range. But guys, that is about it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. From now on, the market talks will probably start in a higher range of values. Because starting them is not that fun at 80 anymore. Because prices don't move much. They're kind of stagnant. No one really cares for those cards anymore. I think 86 is like a nice starting point. Considering those started like 40k already as it is. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification, boys. We're really close to 12K. We're like 250 subs away, so make sure you're smashing the sub button. Make sure to comment down below and smash that like button, boys. 
you guys set a standard at two, 300 likes per video, so you guys gotta keep that going. So make sure you're smashing it. Let's run the likes up. I appreciate each and every one of you that come out every day for these videos, especially on Saturdays, you know, your weekends. And hopefully I can get that Redux part for you out tomorrow. And Mark Hawkins, don't forget to hit me up for your giveaway win. And that's it. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.